welcome back everybody so this week's video i've literally just thought of it on the spot and said i have to do it um it's all going to be about help to buy ices now i know i know i know you guys have probably seen so much content on all the socials with people posting all about help to buy ices they've done threads um explaining how it all works so i do understand that all this information is already out there but it's not right if I haven't done a video on it. As usual, everything's down in the description box. All the inf all the important information is in the description box if you need it. This is a big thing that all young people need to know about. So if you've seen all the threads before and you haven't had a chance to look into it, this is the time. Let's begin. What is a help to buy ISA? So a help to buy ISA is a UK government backed scheme that helps young people like us save up for our first home as you probably know climbing up the property ladder right now is extra extra hard so the government have given us something to basically be able to help us um save up a little bit easier for our first home so this is a really really good scheme which is why i'm making a whole video about it because it's really important you guys understand exactly what it is and how it can help you potentially you might be watching this and all up until now thinking oh I never needed one it's gonna be pointless but when I say free money I'm pretty sure a lot more ears are perking up right now the deadline for opening a new help to buy ISA account is the 30th of November this year so if you're sitting here and you haven't gone and opened it and you think it's something that you might want to do then please go book your appointment at the bank go open it up it's going to help you out in a help to buy ISA you can save up to a maximum of £12,000 you open your help to buy ISA you are able to put in a deposit of up to £1,200 in that same calendar month after the initial deposit has been made whatever you choose to put in there you can then only put up to £200 every month into that account you can do this as a standing order or you can do it as a normal transfer um, a help to buy ISA works in the same way that you are given a sort code and account number you do not have to bank with the bank where you open it if you go beyond that the money will simply just bounce back into your current account because it won't accept it where the free money bit comes in is the government will give every individual with a help to buy ISA 25% of what you have been able to save the minimum amount that you would need to save in order to receive the government bonus is £1,600 so if you save the full £12,000 then the maximum bonus that the government can give you is going to be £3,000 how it works is the government does not pay into your account when you're ready when you go when you're ready to exchange when you're ready to purchase your property the government will put the money towards your property so when you actually have you know drawn up an agreement when you're speak when you're with the broker or solicitor or whoever that is when you mention that you have a help to buy ISA and that is how you'll be paying for a deposit or that is where some of the money for the deposit is going to go and then obviously the government will follow the correct procedure now there are limitations so the purchase of your first home must be under four hundred and fifty thousand pound if it is in in london and it has to be under two hundred and fifty thousand pound if it is outside of london so please bear that in mind you also have until november 2030 i know it seems a long way away but you have until that year so 10 years essentially to claim that bonus from the government after 2030 they will no longer be giving that out whether you have a help to buy ISA or not to be eligible to open a help to buy ISA you have to be 16 years of age or over and a UK resident a help to buy ISA is an individual product which means that if you are in a couple you can both open your own help to buy ISAs and just benefit from double the bonus so you can save up £200 a month your partner can save up £200 pound a month making it 400 pound a month you can both save the maximum of 12,000 pound you can both receive a government bonus of 3,000 pound as the maximum and you can both put it towards one property that it could be the smart thing to do now what's important to know with a help to buy ISA is that unlike a cash ISA you can only just have one help to buy ISA at a time full stop so you can't have 
one this tax year, one another tax year, it doesn't work like that. You can only have one help to buy ISA to your name. However, you can transfer it between providers um, as a funds transfer to chase the best interest rate that is going. So let's just say that you have a help to buy ISA in bank A and you are currently earning around about 2% interest on that. We wake up one day and Bank B is offering their help to buy ISAs at 3.5%. So you can then take your help to buy ISA in Bank A and transfer it over to Bank B as the new provider. But you cannot have your help to buy ISA sitting in Bank A and then go and open up a new one in Bank B. Even if you're not planning to put any money into this bank, you can't have two at a time. If you already have an ISA that you are actively putting money into, you will you can only open a help to buy ISA in this tax year if you perform a funds transfer and move as much of the funds as you can over into your help to buy ISA and shut this one down. Otherwise, you cannot have a separate ISA running alongside this help to buy ISA because they're both ISAs, they're both tax free and the government simply aren't going to let you benefit from more than one ISA every financial tax year. If you don't get cash ISAs, I've done a video on it previously. So please look at the link below. I've pop it here somewhere um, in terms of how they work. Help to buy ISA works in a very similar way in the sense that it does not charge any tax on the interest that you have gained in that savings account. Another frequently asked question is, can you withdraw the funds? Yes, you can withdraw the money at any given time that you want. Help to buy ISA is an instant access cash ISA. So it means that the same way you transfer the money into that account is the same way you can transfer the money back out. Only difference is you're not gonna get the bonus, obviously, if you're not putting it towards a property. So that is basically it, guys. I have, Try to keep this video really short and sweet and just informative for you guys just because I know this is something that is due to end soon and it's a great opportunity that I don't think any young person should miss. If you don't want to use the money for a property then open one anyway because the interest rates are so much higher compared to any other savings accounts that I've seen. You're looking at 2% and above for help to buy ISA as opposed to round about 0.6% for a normal cash ISA. That's all from me guys, hopefully I've provided you with enough information that you are motivated and you are convinced that you need to go and get one. If you don't think you um, a help to buy ISA is for you, if you don't think you'll benefit from the government bonus, then of course, you know, this is not compulsory, it's up to you, it's just something that I think is really, really helpful for us young people trying to climb up the property ladder. Moving out is really hard. So yes guys, that is everything from me today. Enjoy and goodbye. Mwah.